Ever wondered what could possibly pose a challenge in the seemingly tranquil pursuit of snail farming in Nigeria? Well, one word, estivation. Or, if we're being seasonally accurate, hibernation. These are periods when snails go into a long sleep due to unfavorable weather conditions such as extreme heat or cold. But wait, before you throw in the towel, there are ways to navigate this issue. Step 1. Understand the enemy. Snails hibernate in cold seasons and estivate in hot, dry periods. During these times, they seal themselves inside their shells and won't eat, grow, or reproduce. This is a defense mechanism, but unfortunately, it's bad news for snail farmers. Step 2. Control the environment. Snails love a place that's cool, moist, and away from direct sunlight. So, to prevent estivation or hibernation, you need to create an environment that's consistently within their comfort zone. This can be achieved by using shade nets to control the amount of sunlight that reaches the snails, and by regularly spraying water to maintain the required level of humidity. Step 3. Be mindful of their diet. Snails need calcium to grow their shells, and without it, they are more likely to go into estivation or hibernation. So make sure to include calcium-rich foods like cuttlefish bones or eggshells in their diet. Step 4. Regularly check on your snails. Observe their behavior. If they are active and eating well, there's no cause for alarm. But if they start to seal themselves in their shells, it's an indication that they're not comfortable with the conditions. Step 5. Don't give up. With the right knowledge, equipment, and patience, you can successfully prevent estivation or hibernation in your snail farm. So, let's recap. Estivation and hibernation in snails are defense mechanisms triggered by unfavorable weather conditions. To prevent this, you need to control the environment of your snail farm by maintaining a cool, moist habitat away from direct sunlight. You also need to ensure your snails are getting enough calcium in their diet and regularly monitor their behavior for any signs of discomfort. Remember, understanding the problem is half the solution. With these steps, you are well on your way to maintaining a productive snail farm all year round. It's not always easy, but with resilience and determination, it's definitely possible.